This is a video of the insertion of the I-ring pupil expander from Beaver Visitech. After placing cohesive viscoelastic into the eye, I place the I-ring inserter through the 3 mm incision into the anterior chamber. As I inject the I-ring, I attempt to engage all the channels by pressing the leading edge of the ring against the iris. As the ring expands, I guide the horizontal channels into place. In this case, I get three engaged. Next, I use the Sinsky hook to place any channels that have not been engaged. The next step in the procedure is to create a capsule rexus. Notice the low profile of the beams of the eye ring do not interfere with creation of the capsule rexus. Next, I fake emulsify the nucleus in the capsular bag. Note that the low profile of the beams of the eye ring do not interfere with fake emulsification. Following fake emulsification, I remove the residual cortex with the irrigation and aspiration device with the eye ring not interfering with this process at all. Following this, the intraocular lens is injected into the capsular bag. In this case, this is a star nanoflex intraocular lens. Once again, the low profile of the eye ring does not interfere with lens placement. I remove the eye ring by using the injector to grasp the beam at the notch and pulling inwards. This technique is known as the backflip and allows for removal without first disengaging the channels or otherwise manipulating the ring. Please note at the end of the case that there's been no damage to the iris or pigment loss. I've used many pupil expanders in the past and prefer the eye ring because it's gentler and faster than other pupil expanders I've tried in the past.